Hello everybody, here are some first impressions of the Google Nexus 5 from LG. Um, this isn't a typical review, I just have a couple impressions and just things to say about the phone. Um, I bought it for myself and I am not going to keep it, I'm going to stick with my Nexus 4. But I thought I'd share some reasons, I guess, why I'm not keeping it and why it's not worth the upgrade for me. Um, first of all, uh, I have a straight talk SIM card in it, and it is on AT&T's network. Um, <clears throat> um, LTE, I have not... Um, the biggest reason I wanted this phone over the Nexus 4 is the LTE, um, which I actually don't have <laughs> this moment, which is odd. Um, we'll pop it on airplane mode quick and see if we can pull it up. But... Um, <clears throat> LTE and LTE in my area just is not uh, not working very well. It's not very fast, and I'm not sure if it's AT&T or just this phone. I'm guessing it's AT&T. I'll I have yet to speed test another AT&T phone around here. Um, so you can see we've got LTE. I get one to two bars out of four here, and I'll run a speed test for you quick. Let's see. I've got all my stuff preloaded on here. Uh, but again, LTE is just not not up to par with what I expected. And um, I don't think it's the phone's problem. I think it's AT&T's network around here. But um, I did expect it to be faster. And it's going to Tampa, Florida. I'm not sure why, but it still should be faster than what it will be, as you'll see in a second. Um, in general, connections weren't superb on this phone. It, uh, I mean, they, I would have YouTube videos that would just not load or stop loading, and um, I don't really have that on my Nexus 4 uh, with Straight Talk uh, over AT&T. So again, we have 1.3 megabits per second. Usually, I get two to three on their uh, their 3G here, so um, pretty worthless to an up for an upgrade to LTE. <clears throat> and like I said, it doesn't always work. I'll have to put it in airplane mode and take it off to get it to start working. So it's just somewhat of a hassle. And I'm not sure if that's the phone or the network or what around here, but uh, the phone doesn't seem to have the greatest radio. Um, and again, horrible speeds, really bad ping. So not sure what's up there. Um, all right, and then also battery life. Battery life has been good. Uh, standby time is excellent. It'll sit for a couple days without shutting off uh, with the network and notifications for all my apps on and everything. Um, that's just sitting on my desk. But when it's with me, um, heavy use uh, really does kill the battery. But, I mean, that's, that's expected. Um, it's got a big screen, which I'm sure contributes to that. And it has a fantastic looking screen um, you won't be able to tell really in the camera but you really cannot see any of the pixels and it looks just beautiful the colors and everything stand out there we go um, the design and feel of this phone are excellent you know I was a bit worried coming from an already pretty big phone the Nexus 4 um, I was kind of worried coming to a Nexus 5 that was um, it, it's a bigger phone and, but I really like the feel of it. It feels good, and it feels nice to hold. Um, the power button placement is perfect for where you'd want it to be. Um, the back feels nice. It's, it's a soft matte back. Um, I know the white version is made out of something different, so I can't speak for that one, but Nexus is engraved in the back. It looks nice. It feels good. Um, no complaints about the design. You can see the bezel or the, the edges here are pretty minimal, which is nice, and again, a brilliant screen. Um, actually, the big screen is really nice to work with, especially YouTube and browsing and stuff like that. Let's run to a website here. And again, we're on LTE, so you can see it's not uh, what you'd really expect out of LTE. And over HSPA Plus, it actually works better, so let's just change it. You can see it started loading. Uh, we'll run in settings, networks, um, oops, we will go to 3G, 
and go back here. Actually, just for the heck of it, let's run a speed test and see how that goes. And it is the middle of the day. Uh, I'm on a college campus, and um, in the middle of the day, the speeds are not great on 3G. So yeah, you can see pretty bad speeds. But again, it's more consistent than even the LTE, and the ping is lower, which is good. So again, this is not bad. And upload speeds are faster and much more consistent. So I'm really not sure what's up with that. I mean, it could be something to do with straight talk, but let's go back here. And here we have this. Let's go to the full site. Um, browsing is great. This phone is very fast. I thought the Nexus 4 was fast. Well, this is extremely fast. Um, you can see pinch to zoom is good. It loads full pages very well. Um, I really didn't have any problems with the general usage of this phone, except YouTube had a few issues. Um, other than not playing, it did crash a few times for some reason. Um, here, let's see if we can get it to play. Again, on Wi-Fi, everything runs perfectly. Watching an HD video is amazing. Also, I'm not sure if it's just, well, it must just be my unit, but the speaker doesn't seem to work. Um, I hear no sound out of the um, out of the uh, speaker whatsoever. Uh, whether I'm playing YouTube, just a song, or um, or um, speakerphone in a call, I'm not sure why that is. It must just be a bad, faulty unit. So I may just have to return this rather than sell it on eBay. Sadly. Um, also, new with Android 4.0. Uh, 4.4 KitKat is uh, from the home screen, which is right here. Uh, you can swipe this way, right, and it brings you straight to Google Now. And I'm not a huge fan of that because I, I mean, you can still pull up wherever you are to get to Google Now. And I'd rather just do that than swipe over because I'm used to having my applications over here. You know, I have my set of applications on this page, I have my set over here, I have my set over here, but now I can't do that. So, I mean, that's kind of annoying, because now I have to go two over here to get those applications. But um, I just wish it was something you could change. Um, also, it's nice. Um, you can see the background goes with these buttons. It's not with that back or black bar in the way. And speaking of the Nexus 4 here, let's compare. Um, also, you can do the little home screen widgets and stuff on here. So... Um, here you can see size-wise, um, let's see, this Nexus 4 is almost as wide, and see, the, the new one's really not that much bigger. You get a lot less, like, space down here and on the sides, and also, um, you can see the black bar has disappeared at the bottom, and they're now white icons, so, and again, this is what I mean, swiping this way for applications rather than, you know, so that's that. And then also something new is you can say, OK, Google, and it will instantly pop up Google search, um, which is listening to me right now. So that's also pretty neat. And um, that's with Android 4.4 KitKat. All right, let's look at the camera now. Uh, camera was incredibly slow, even with HDR off. Let's turn that off. Nope, that's front facing. Hello, everyone. <laughs> having troubles getting the camera to work here. All right, HDR is off. Okay, so let's take a picture of this and you can just see how, well, how slow it is. Let's see if I can zoom in, there we go. All right, it's all focused, I'm gonna press it. And it took that long to take it, even though I had already focused. Let's try this again. Also, it does not seem to focus on things up close. Here, it got this. Um, whereas other cameras, they will focus up close. Look at, it took that long to take a picture. And again, you, you know, imagine without focusing first. Just, just takes way too much time. Uh, so pretty darn unimpressed with the camera. I mean, uh, you know, what good is a good quality picture when you can't get it because the shutter takes too long. So, <clears throat> that I did not like. Um, otherwise, pictures did look pretty darn good, but 
again, you know, you can move it all when you're taking them. Uh, let's see. Um, the buttons on the side are... I actually uh, didn't originally think of this, but I read it in someone else's review, and now it's uh, kind of gotten on my mind. The buttons are very sharp. You can see they stick out quite a bit, and they're not rounded or anything into the device. So if you brush your hand along here, I mean, they're pretty sharp, like they stick out. And same with this one. It's, I mean, it feels like it could be rounded down more like this. This you can see. Maybe you can see. It's rounded down kind of against the device. Yeah, they're um, curved. Whereas this one is just completely f like straight. I mean, there's no curve to that button. So, I mean, just something interesting I took note of. Um, let's see, anything else? Voice quality, uh, you can see the usual, this is the Nexus 4, the usual long, skinny um, speaker grill has been replaced with a small, circular speaker grill. And um, the volumes, call volumes on my end, were not amazing. Um, they could have been louder, so there's something little. Uh, the low price is amazing. If you don't have a phone and you're looking for one, <laughs> this is a good phone, uh, definitely for the price. But um, me with my Nexus 4, I'm perfectly happy with it. Even this much time later, a year later, uh, it's very fast. And I guess without the good quality LTE in my area, I don't see a reason to upgrade at the moment. Um, let's see, did I forget anything? Um, yes, I had a few force shutdowns, um, actually, where I would be using the device, and then it would just, um, it, you know, I'd go like this, and I'd try to turn it on, and the screen wouldn't turn on, and I'd think it was off or something, but finally I'd get it to kind of turn on to this screen, and it wouldn't pull the thing, and so I had to force restart it, not by holding and doing this, because that didn't respond, but by holding the down button and the power button to actually force restart it. That happened twice, which is um, odd. I've probably done that twice with my Nexus 4 in the last year, so having to do that twice in a couple days is quite a bit. Um, other than that, that is my experience with the Nexus 5. Um, as much as that was pretty much an entire review or video of mostly criticisms, this is an excellent device. I love it. Um, I really like the look, I love the feel, it's hard for me to get rid of it, but I guess for now, it is not what I need, and I'm going to stick with my beloved Nexus 4, so thanks everyone for watching.